Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to the next episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Career Mode. That is right. So yeah, uh, this is the team that we're going to be taking into the uh, match. So I'm thinking I'm actually going to be switching uh, Jesus with Triore, but pretty much as the rules state, you have to keep the same series, same, uh, same team, so I'm going to do that. Uh, it's going to be a little interesting though. Um, I may actually Kennedy at a uh, left back as he does have that flexibility there. So I would ideally not play him, but don't really have a choice. I want to give a shout out to Content Canadian TV. Uh, he does go check him out. I will leave his link in the description. So yeah, um, regardless, let's uh, just take this team into the match. Confident we can go along and grab a victory. So yeah, should be all good. So obviously we had our uh, epic comeback against Braga where we scored three goals in about 15 minutes of in-game time. So uh, obviously that was a fantastic game. Hopefully we should be okay. But let's get into this game either way. Alright guys, so we're getting into the Europa League match versus SC Braga. So um, Gabriel Jesus was probably the star of the show I'd have to say. That scissor kick goal was incredible from him. Just some brilliant skill. Um, yeah, it is a shame uh, we don't have a player like Gabriel Jesus, a uh, young player like him at Chelsea. Uh, I mean, Masanda and Boga are really good, but the key is Jesus got a chance. Masanda, I think, can become a player like Jesus of his quality. He just needs a chance. And it's pretty much the same for the whole entire Chelsea youth, but not going to go there. Um, so yeah, regardless, uh, taking a look at our team, um, Jesus is in there, uh, Kennedy's there, Zuma's there, Zuma has been a beast on loan at, uh, Stoke so far, so looking forward to seeing his progress, and Kennedy, surprisingly, is still in, uh, the Chelsea squad, so, wasn't expecting that, but regardless, uh, I think pretty much the same lineup, uh, I think, is that Ricardo Ferreira? Wait, oh, okay, but they're playing a 4-2-3-1. Not gonna be easy, but I think we can handle them. Come on, it's headed. It's it's Jesus. Oh, oh, come on! That was such a good cross by Kennedy. It is a shame though that I'm gonna be taking him off for uh, Marcos Alonso. He's been kind of meh. Uh, I think a change needed. So, addition, Almiron's gonna come off for uh, Fabregas, and then. Um, I think the third substitution I'm going to bring on uh, Masanda for Triore. Triore hasn't been very good, so I'm going to just take him off, give him a bit of a rest for the uh, Premier League games. Oh, jeez, the pat, the defending. Oh, Tebow, what a save. We've been absolutely terrifically bad on Fendi. Oh, goodness me. This, this game, we have just, like, we've not shown up. Like, legitimately, we've not shown up this game. Jesus! It's Gabriel Jesus! And it's Gabriel who pops up with the goal. Great run. A perfect finish into the corner. And finally, we get some life sparked right into us by the brilliant Brazilian himself. Really good run there. Gonzalez, good, no touch dribbling, and then a solid as you like finish by Gabriel Jesus. The legend. He's indeed our savior. So, yeah. Uh, good goal, good finish. Spasanda now. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, well. 1 uh, 1 draw. Kind of mediocre, but at the same time, it's not a terrible result in all honesty because we're progressing through to the next round. But I would have liked to see us win both legs of the tie because, no disrespect, it is SC Braga after all. But either way, uh, yeah, not really any other surprising results in all honesty. But uh, the next uh, match of the episode should be not difficult of one potentially uh, that would be of course the match against Swansea so I'll be able to use a bit more of a full team this time so hopefully I can play well with it so 
Okay, this is the team I'm going to switch up to. So, have Mishi as an option. Um, I kind of like Jesus better as a um, winger. So, I think I'm going to play uh, Batshuayi there. But yeah, this is going to be the team regardless. Um, we have some flexibility. We have some good players uh, who can be uh, used if needed. But I'm confident with this team. And I feel like we played much better after Alonso came on. We were just unfortunate in all honesty. A great performance from the keeper and just not good enough finishing in all honesty. Into the second match of the episode versus Swansea. Really no doubt. We need to put the ball into the back of the net. Um, and yeah, let's go. Alright guys, so we're getting into the Premier League match versus Swansea. So, um, after a decent performance against Braga, uh, just looking to continue on, move on, and um, see if we can get a good result. Um, I think the game against Swansea is really a must win. Manchester United have somehow stretched to, I think, a 10 or 11 point lead at the top of the table. Which I'm very surprised. I can't remember the last Premier League result we had, but I'm pretty sure we won our last Prem game, so... Um, yeah, pretty much. So, Swansea, decent side, uh, recently sold Sigurdsson, so in real life, interesting to see how they'll do without him. And it looks like the game isn't going to actually show the two teams, so, well, eh, maybe I'll show them. Alright, so, Swansea, they have Fabianski, Naughton, Vanderhorn, Fernandez, Olsen, Cork. Ridden, Sahin, oh, Nuri Sahin, okay. Dyer, Ayu, and Montero. So, yeah, didn't know what formation they're running, but at least I can find that out. Special way, special way! What a through ball by Cesc Fabrias and Mishi Betshuayi near halftime. Smashes it into the back of the net. That is an absolutely world-class ball from Cesc Fabrias and a great finish from Mishi. Right between the legs and just a solid tap right into the back of the net. Great finish from Mishi. Nothing the keeper could do. Extremely questionable defense, but I will take it. Good goal right before the halftime. Masanda. Masanda! Off the post! What a hit! Oh, jeez, Swansea. Stop it. No! Oh! Good chance to end off half. So yeah, uh, we played well. No reason to really make changes. Potentially uh, could bring someone on in a few minutes, but at the moment, we're fine. So, let's keep it the way it is. Nuri Shaheen. Ducore! Good finish into the side netting. And Alberto Ducore makes it to 55 minutes in. And in both games, we have scored a goal on the verge of the 56th minute. That is right. So, great pass from Sesk. And then Mashuai turns provider it's a perfect finish into the corner and what a goal it is great finish 2 nothing good performance and now I think is the perfect time to make a couple substitutions as we are safely and securely in the lead so uh, talking about the changes um, I'm gonna make I think a few so I'm thinking uh, Triore is gonna come in for Batshuayi um, Ducour is gonna come on for Noble and I think that should be good for now, actually. Yeah, uh, I like Jesus on the wing, so I'll keep him there. And uh, the changes are made. Let's go. All right, so we're going to make a last minute substitution. Thinking I'm going to take a Jesus off for Shrievers. triary has been really mediocre up top, but I mean, we don't have much of a better option now. Okay. Tell me, Roan. It's Masanda. It's 
Shrievers! It's three! And it is Shrievers with a brilliant finish! Who puts it away and with a great celebration finishes off the game. Brilliant ball from Sesk and a good, calm, cool, collected finish from Shrievers. What a hit, man. What a hit. Great goal. Great team play yet again. We have dismantled Swansea, absolutely. And yeah, we gain a reward for playing some great football this game. So yeah, that should pretty much be it. So, um, yeah, there we go. 3 nothing victory. Great victory over Swansea. And, uh, pretty important as we would have been 11 points behind Manchester United if we had uh, failed to win this game. So, no doubt, we just completely kept Swansea City out of the game. And, uh, we were very much deserving of a good victory there. So, yeah, uh, that's going to be the end of this episode. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And, yeah, um, I shall see you guys later for matches against West Ham and Anderlecht in the round of 16. See you guys later. Peace!